In InterSystems Object Script, variables are dynamically and weakly typed. This means you do not need to declare the data type, and the usage of the variable determines how it is evaluated. A variable can have one of several data types as its value, including a string, such as hello, a list, like apple, banana, orange, or an object, such as an instance of the class sample.person. In this video, we will explore these three most common data types. A string is the default data type for variables in object script. Strings are written between quotation marks. By default, a variable is evaluated as a string. However, when a string is used in a mathematical expression, it is automatically evaluated as a number. The same is true if a string is used in a conditional or Boolean expression. Let's look at a few examples. First, we'll set the variable x equal to 123. Then use this variable in a mathematical expression. Set y equals x minus 3. When we write y, we can see that the value of x minus 3 is 120. Now let's set x equal to a string that includes numbers and letters, 123 ABC, and repeat the same process. When we write y again, we can see that the value of x minus 3 is still 120, meaning that the string 123 ABC was evaluated as the number 123. It's important to note that strings are read from left to right. If we change x to the string ABC 123 and repeat the mathematical expression, we'll get negative 3. This is because when strings are evaluated as numbers, the evaluation stops at the first non-numeric character encountered. So ABC 123 is evaluated as 0. Similarly, the string 12 ABC 3 would be read as 12. Numeric values do not require enclosing punctuation, such as quotation marks, as you saw when we set x equal to 123. When these numeric values are evaluated, they are converted to canonical form. This automatically resolves leading signs as well as leading and trailing zeros. It's useful to understand how numbers are evaluated, because in some cases the leading characters are important, such as in US zip codes, which must have five digits. To keep the leading zero, the zip code 02145 must be stored as a string within quotation marks. You can also create lists in object script. As the name implies, a list holds a list of elements, each of which can be a string, number, list, or other data type. Lists contain encoding that allows you to retrieve, add, and manipulate elements using built-in functions. Lists are created using a built-in object script function, $ListBuild. Let's set a variable friends to hold a list of names by using the $ListBuild function. We'll add the names Peter, Harry, and Mary Jane. To view all of the elements in the list, we will use the zwrite command. Then, we can use the $List function to retrieve elements or update them if needed. Another data type you may encounter is an object. If you're familiar with object-oriented programming, it's likely you have seen this data type before. An object is an instance of a class. For any object, you can assign an object reference to a local variable, allowing you to access the methods and properties of that object. In this example, we'll create an object of the sample.person class and assign an object reference to a variable, allowing us to set the properties of the object. The sample.person class has already been defined with several properties, including name, address, and salary. To assign an object reference to the variable human, set it equal to pound pound class, open parentheses, sample.person, close parentheses, dot percent new. The properties and methods of an object can be accessed with an object reference using dot syntax. For example, we'll set the name property by running the following command, set human.name equals Maria. Let's set the other properties in the same way. To display all the properties of the variable, use the zwrite command. The output of this command shows that human is an OREF, or object reference, to an instance of the class sample.person. It lists some general information about the object, such as the reference count and class name. You can also see the properties and their values under attribute values. 
As you have seen, strings, lists, and objects can be flexibly assigned to variables without declaring data types. To learn more about data types and object script, visit the documentation website.